If you've been trying to rent an apartment, one of the things that I hear a lot about online is the scams that are going on out there. We have a, a, a Facebook group. It's called uh, Homes for Rent in Savannah that we started like five or six years ago and has 20,000 users. And I hear all the time online that there are scammers out there. And it's unfortunate. But I've got six things that we're going to go through and stick around to the last thing because that's the best item that's going to help you not get stammed, scammed. Number one is too good to be true pricing. If the pricing is too good to be true, it's probably not. So be real, real, real careful of if something seems to be way, way under market value as far as the rent is concerned. Then number two is when the person renting the apartment requests money up front. Okay. Most legitimate landlords will not request money up front. They don't ask for money before you see the apartment, number one, and number two, before before you sign a lease. Typically, that's a very, really, really strong sign that they, this that you're looking at a scam. Number three is the inability to meet the person at the property or at anywhere, like at their office, or at least meet the person somewhere to sign the lease, to do the paperwork, to meet them, to have them let you in the property. This, this most of the time is a red flag, is the inability to meet the person at the property. Number four is the payment method. If the payment method seems sketchy, like they want you to wire money or, you know, it's an offshore bank account or they want you to send gift cards, anything crazy like that, I would avoid because that to me is a, a big big, big sign that is a scam. So say, stay safe and do not send payments in a sketchy way. Number five, check the landlord's identity. And you can do this a number of ways. My favorite way, and I do this all the time myself, is I go to a, a website here in Chatham County. In Chatham County, there's a website called sages.org. Now on sages.org, you can look up property owners. You can put look it up by the, by the property address and then see if the property record card Okay, the public record matches the person renting the place. And if, if not, you need to find out why it doesn't. And they should have a real good reason why it doesn't before you give them any money or sign any leases. Number six, I really love, okay? This is something I just learned and I've never done it before, but it's called the reverse image search. Reverse image search. You go to Google Images and you take an image off of the internet, like the, an image of the house that you're looking at renting. And if you have, I think this is amazing. I, I literally just learned how to do this. But you take the image, you download it on your computer or your phone, and then you upload it into this image search and it scours the internet for images that match that one. And I did it on two of my old listings and they popped up from my old listings. Like I had a picture of the old listing on my computer. I downloaded that and it found the old listing on Zillow. And the reason why you do this is because a lot of the scammers will take photos from old listings and they'll put them online for rent. So they'll rent you a house that maybe is vacant or the person bought it and it's a vacation rental, but they'll rent that house and then they'll steal the pictures from online. But then you can, you can take that and you can see that they stole them from Zillow or somewhere else. So anyway, I thought that was really cool. Hopefully these six tips help. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to me. You can DM me or message me on whatever platform you see this on. If you're on our Facebook group, uh, Homes for Rent in Savannah, there are 18,600 people in that group. I hope this helps cut down on the scamming online in our group and everywhere. And this keeps you safe. Thanks for watching.